game last year where you guys had a big lead in the second half and then everything just changed and, and went there. Yeah, um, playing league is just a whole different environment. You know, uh, they're they're more locked in at playing at the crib. Um, so you know, we just got really locked in defensively. Um, you know, last year we had a I think a twenty point lead, and you know we let them come back in the game. And it's just some little little mistakes that we did. You know, letting Kamenaga get loose. You know, let him get hot. You know, that's what really sparked their energy. And then they got going, and it just seemed like they were pretty much hard to stop. So. No, we got really lucky defensively from from the start of the game to the end of the game. Chubby, Greg, you the game the last game. Obviously, you hit that three to four. You guys all jumped back in. I guess, is there any worry on your end from, I guess, how prolonged it's been for your three points? I guess, the, you know, when you're coming to start. Yeah, no, uh, you know, it's just uh, keep getting extra shots up, you know, just trying to find that confidence to be able to go out and shoot. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm shooting a little better off off catch and shoot than I am dribble right now. So I just got to be able to get that confidence in, in shooting off the dribble as well. Chucky, how have you seen Tyler and Steven develop as post defenders and post aggressors over the course of the last couple months? Absolutely. You know, it's just great to see them both involved. Um, you know, from from year one, you know, I've watched them since I was junior in high school. You know, to be able to see their game develop like this, you know, Steve is just pulling so much more muscle. You know, I was just talking about that with some of my teammates today. You know, Steve's gotten so much better, but it's just because he's gotten so much stronger. You know, he's just pulling people down there. His footwork so tremendous. Same with Tyler. Um, I love playing with those two guys. They're, they're two guys easy to play with, very high IQ players. So, you know, when you just have players like that, it makes you uh, a team very good. Chucky, how's Connor been able to bounce back from his slow start to the season and settle into the role he's in now? Absolutely, you know, uh, he kind of just looked back to and leaned on us a, a little bit. Um, you know, we were able to pick him up. You know, we all have the biggest faith in him in the world. We all believe in him. We know what he's capable of. Uh, he just got, has to go out there and show it. And, you know, he's, it's, you can tell, kind of see that his confidence coming back a little bit. That's what we all love to see. That's what uh, the Badger fans love to see. And, you know, if he keeps doing that, we're going to keep him seeing him be good. What was the take of that stretch of December with Marquette, Michigan State, and then Arizona? Did this stretch feel similar? Uh, obviously, the three months after that, it's also a tough road game in between. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's just the life in the Big Ten, you know. Um, you know, on the road, and any team's going to be tough to play at the crib. So uh, we just got really locked in. Um, yeah, like I said, the Big Ten tournament, so our Big Ten uh, conference is a really tough conference to play in. You know, teams are going to come at you every night. You just got to be able to, to hold your ground and be able to defend. Do you find yourself, like Purdue plays, I think, tomorrow night, do you find yourself trying to pay attention to that game to see if someone helps you out, like if Western knocks them off, or do you just stay away? Yeah, no, nah, we just uh, try to take it one game at a time. Um, you know, our, our focus is Nebraska right now, and we got to be able to, to beat them. Um, we got to be able to come out with energy, and then uh, the game after that, you know, we play them next. So, you know, obviously we will watch that game, but we got to monitor it close, you know, um, got to be able to to stay focused on Nebraska and not, not lose that focus. And you mentioned Tom and Andrew earlier, and I guess Max isn't going to be available today. He's kind of the guy who tries to chase him around. When you watch Tom and Aga on tape, how well does he move without the ball? Is it difficult to track him? Yeah, he moves so well with the ball. You know, he's, he came in here still shot efficient, but, you know, it hit the, the touches. He was he was kind of getting frustrated because, you know, he wasn't able to get as many touches as he wanted to. So. You know, we just got to be able to continue to do that. You know, Max Kleiner did a great job on him, on him the last time. Even though he was still efficient, you know, he, he was still frustrated because he wasn't getting the touches he wanted to and kind of eliminated him from him, him from getting the ball. So, you know, we just got to continue to do that. Um, you know, just play really well defensively on everybody, you know, not let anybody get in the rhythm. You know, Max has been playing a really, really, he's been doing a really good job on offense. So, you know, got to be able to, to stop him on offense as well. Max is off. One or two more guys. Max is obviously always been a very intense player. What do you remember about the first, I guess, time you got to see him on campus and you know, that you know, he came to those visit? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, I think it was the first practice. We, uh, I remember, um, you know, he was just a really shifty player. I didn't expect that from him. You know, I'd never seen him, never heard of him before. Uh, as soon as we come, come in and I heard he was like Brad Davidson, but he got a lot more shift to him, you know, just being able to know how to score, get to the rim, you know, um, and it, like I say, he is like Brad Davis in defense. You know, he just hustles after everything. You know, in first practice, he was me on the floors. So, you know, I really love that from class. And I know that he was going to be a special player back then. Chucky, it's always a team or a game on the schedule that's like a trap game. Wisconsin is now ranked sixth in the nation. 
Um, do you feel like Nebraska would play with even more intensity to try to upset you guys now? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I really don't look at the rankings, you know, just try to stay focused because I know that any game can, for us can be, we can lose focus and, you know, yeah, all happy about number six, but it takes, it's going to take one game for us to fall off. And at the day, you know, we, we saw what happened last year. We, we got to number 13, just completely fell off. So, you know, our team put this year is going to be a lot more focused this year. You know, we're going to stay the path and, you know, just keep, keep, keep it one game at a time. All right, thanks, Sharky. Yep. Love John slide